Hi there, uh, we're Scott and Gillian Thompson. We're in Cairo today, we've come from London. Uh, we're Scottish um, and uh, yeah, just want to be able to let you know uh, how great uh, a time we're having. We've been here for two days. Uh, we've been around historic Cairo and uh, it was a real surprise to me. Uh, great art, great people, great food. Um, good shopping. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had a great time and it's incredible to uh, appreciate how, how welcoming people are. I guess Egypt has gone through some tough times recently and when we came from the UK a lot of people were concerned about our safety. I got here and my mom was on the phone immediately trying to make sure that we were okay. But uh, we've got friends that live here and uh, they've seen the, the revolution and if anything I think the revolution has left people a little bit stronger and certainly happier. Uh, we've been welcomed everywhere we've been and you know the things that you can see here are just incredible so I would certainly recommend for anyone uh, looking to go on holiday to to anywhere um, you know certainly consider Egypt and I, I wouldn't be concerned about anything that you may have heard we've had a great time we've felt under no threat and in fact I, I would probably say more uh, more welcoming than we've ever had in any holiday in the past people have been coming up to us in the street shaking our hands and welcoming us so fantastic time and uh, today has been great as well. Yeah, we've seen the pyramids at uh, Saqqara and at Giza and we're here now at the, um, the solar boat, um, which is amazing. It's been under the ground for four, over 4,000 years and uh, still managed to survive. So uh, lots of hidden gems that people don't know about Egypt um, that are definitely worth a visit. Yeah, I think uh, if you're going to be here, make the effort to get yourself a personalised tour. Uh, we've had a fantastic tour guide Samir here. I did a little bit of reading about Egypt before I came here and I realised that what I read um, I guess had a certain bias to it, it had a western bias and it's interesting to hear from uh, from someone like Samir the, the local bias as well so you can begin to, to get a fuller picture. It seems that every brick that you see here has a story and I think that's what's most important here. Thank you very much.